We wonder why the Super Bowl is a hotbed of sex trafficking. And meanwhile, we applaud for literal pole dancing during the Super Bowl halftime show. Make no mistake, degrading women has tragic cultural consequences. For anybody who did not watch the halftime show last night, I'm not going to show the video to you because kids and families watch my show. But this is what happened. J-Lo and Shakira performed. J-Lo's act was a strip tease on a stripper pole, partially nude, with a camera shot zooming up between her legs as she rubbed her crotch. What message is that supposed to send to little girls? That our bodies are commodities? Hey, little ladies, if you exploit your sexuality, you'll be successful. Do we want to tell young ladies that we women are nothing more than thrusting and gyrating in skimpy clothes intended to arouse men? That our bodies are sexual objects and our sexuality is currency? That, that is not women's empowerment. That is exploitation of women, demeaning women to mere objects, degrading the beauty of female sexuality. And what message was this performance supposed to send to young men? How are we supposed to expect men to respect women when we teach them to applaud for women portrayed as sex objects. Might as well take the kids and all the young preteen boys who watch the Super Bowl to the strip club at halftime. Female empowerment. And I don't want to hear it from all the people flooding my social media today with excuses, saying, what do you want, women wearing burkas? And you're a racist, and it's not degrading if she chose to do it. Complete load of BS. You are the one objectifying her, regardless of whether she's objectifying herself, which she was. Her lack of respect for her own body doesn't justify your lack of respect for her. And if you think that this criticism is new because the performers were Latina, have you been living under a rock? Beyonce's performance was not family friendly. Madonna's performance was not family friendly. Janet Jackson's performance was sure as heck not family friendly. And even Adam Levine's performance last year was not family friendly. Women are not objects. It's time we as a culture stopped treating women as such. This is not a left or a right issue, a conservative or a liberal issue. It's a cultural crisis when even 70% of Christian men watch pornography. If you are so desensitized to what's degrading to women that you're defending this halftime show as being totally fine and appropriate, then maybe it's time for a heart check because you might be part of the cultural problem. Degrading women to mere objects leads to treating women as sexual commodities. And look at what happens outside the Super Bowl, sex trafficking. By the way, where is the outcry from feminists who claim they fight against the sexual exploitation of women? I got a message last night from a survivor of human trafficking who said she was angry and upset to see the NFL promote a performance so degrading to women. The NFL claims to care about domestic violence against women. The NFL claims to care about human and sex trafficking but they don't care about respecting women just as long as they treat women like sex objects during their halftime show.